Oh uh, yeah, uh, good game. I mean, you know, I th we were right with them. I think we had them down eight four there. Had a flat five minutes, and they made us pay. And that's that's because they're really deep and they're a really good team. So the one good thing is, I think a lot of our problems were self-inflicted. So we're going to work on those and get ready for the next two games coming up and go from there. And like I said, I really proud of the guys. They battled hard for all 60 minutes. And, you know, we just came up two shots short. So that's the way it goes some nights. Coach, is there any sense, I guess, you know, hard to you guys just played your two toughest opponents in this tournament the next week until you know, get to the meddling rounds and kind of be built on, on team building? Is there any kind of approach you're taking yeah, like I said, we you know there we had a couple uh, error you know goof ups tonight. We're going to work on those over the next couple days. I mean you know England and Czechoslovakia, I'm sure geared up and going to come give us a good game. Can't overlook them, so we're going to just prepare like we normally do. You know we got a game. Uh, I think we're off tomorrow and then the next day do a little uh, film study. You know have a good practice on our off day and get ready for the next couple days. And like you said, you know. We uh, we know we can play with them. We you know we just have to finish it off. Yeah, you know our offense. We just like Coach was saying. You know we had a little lapse there, and you know we weren't sticking to our game plan. You know everyone wanted to shoot. You know we weren't taking good shots, smart shots, and you know we brought it in and we said you know we have to take that next pass for that better shot. And that's something that we did towards the end, but we just came two shots short. Can you talk about that goal you suck over your shoulder there in the early going? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I knew the time was going down. And actually, in field lacrosse, I practiced that shot a lot because, you know, a lot of people see me coming up the left side and throwing the back end. This time I wanted to bring something different to my game. And, you know, it's just all knowing where you are on the field. You know, that net's never going to move. So... You know, that's just knowing where you are. I'd rather you guys talk about what it's like to play this, these games, you know, so close to the game. I mean, you heard how loud the crowd was, how great it was. You heard this. What did you see off that was the game that you could play? Well, we both grew up uh, the underdog nation, and we know the support we have is from around the world. Uh, and especially if you have the opportunity to play in your backyard. You have the elders coming up and talk to you, wishing you good luck. Uh, you know, our friends are having our backs, and even the kids are coming up to our practices, coming out to our shoot-arounds, and uh, just supporting us. So it's great to have that extra motivation in your, your backyard there. So anything we can do and all their positive energy is being focused on these games, and we're going to take everything we can get. Every one of their players played professionally. Every one of their players been playing box across since they're little kids. And uh, every shift they're stepping five great guys on the floor, and we just got to match their intensity for a full 60 minutes. Because you know, as each of us have said, when you take a few minutes off, those five great players are going to make a, a chance for themselves. And you know, that's what they did in the third quarter. Coach, the officiating was obviously criticized by the crowd tonight. Do you feel like it added or took anything away from your guys' game plan? Uh, no, not really. We you know, we have no control over it. So if we have no control over it, you can't worry about it. Do I agree with every call? No. I mean, that happens every game, though. Well, you know, we say this all the time. Every time they blow the whistle, one bench is mad. So you can't cry over it. You know, he called that goal back. When we watched the replay, it was the right call. Was the mechanics right? I don't know. He came in there pretty late. But like I said, it was the right call in the end. And if we would have won the game on a goal like that with too many men, it would have been a tainted win anyway. So the calls are what they are. You know, myself, even I told the players I'm going to do a better job of staying off the refs. You know, you get pretty emotional there behind the bench. And like I said, there, you, you can't do anything about it. So why worry about it? He blows the whistle. We say, what's the call? And move on. And that's the attitude we have to take from here on out, coaches included. Guess how much of a boost was that? How integral was that to, to the early success? And was it difficult to maintain that over the years? You know, when you have the crowd on your, you know, on your side, you know, it's easy to go out there and you know give it your all. And right from the beginning, you know, coach gave us that speech: go out there, 100% effort, and you know that's all you can control. I'm 
few more questions, guys. Then we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> Anyone else? All right.